Today we will be finding the area of a trapezoid. This lesson covers the sixth grade common core standard. Find the area of a right triangle, other triangles, special quadrilaterals, and polygons by composing into rectangles or decomposing into triangles and other shapes. And then apply these techniques into the context of solving real world and mathematical problems. So today we will be solving a real world problem that requires us to find the area of a trapezoid. Remember, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, meaning it has four sides, that has one pair of parallel sides. Our problem today is, Sarah is making a cake in the pan shown below. She wants to cover the top of the cake with pink frosting. How much frosting will she need? Each frosting container covers a cake with an area of 25 inches. How many containers will she need? All right, so after reading that problem, I know I need to find the area of this trapezoid because I need to cover the whole top of the cake with frosting. You can see that the shape below is indeed a trapezoid. It has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has one set of parallel sides. This side is parallel to this side. So these two sides are called bases. This is one base and this is the other base. You can also see that the diagram gives the length of the two bases and the height of the trapezoid. The base of the trapezoid are always the two parallel sides. We will use the length of the two bases and the heights to find the area of the trapezoid. Now, this brings me to the formula for the area of a trapezoid. It is one half, in parentheses, base one, which would be this base, plus base two, which would be this base, and parentheses, times the height. So, when looking at the diagram below, you can see that the one base has a length of 10 inches and the other a length of 20, and the height is five inches. When plugging our information into the formula, we see that we have one half, parentheses, base one, which is 10 inches, plus base two, which is 20 inches, and parentheses, times the height, which is right over here, five inches. First, the order of operations tells us we must simplify within the parentheses. So the first thing we must do, must do is 10 plus 20. And we know that 10 plus 20 is 30. So that gives us 1 half times 30 times 5. All right, so now we have 1 half times 30. And we know that when you're multiplying by a half, it's just half of what the number is. So 1 half times 30 is 15. So that brings us to 15 times 5. And when multiplying 15 times 5, because 15 being the two bases added together multiplied by 1 half, and the 5 being the height of the trapezoid, we get 15 times 5 as 75 inches square. So that is the area of the trapezoid. So now, we need to figure out how many containers of frosting we will need. Remember that one container of frosting gives us approximately 25 inches. So the total area of the trapezoid is 75 inches. So we need to get enough icing to cover 75 inches of this cake. So if we divide 75 divided by 25, and why are we dividing it by 25? Remember that one container equals 25 inches squared, and 75 divided by 25 equals, well we know this by thinking of quarters, three. So we will need three containers of pink frosting to cover our cake.